What if you played Dungeons and Dragons, but none of the characters knew anything about who they are, how they came to be there, or crucially, what they could do. That's the kind of Dungeons and Dragons that we're going to be playing today. Hello, I'm Luke Westway from Oxventure, your DM today, and I am so thrilled to have with me, here we have, well, we have Mike, Jane, and Sullivan, but maybe you could introduce yourselves. Yes. More, more polite. We can indeed. Uh, it's me, um, Sullivan. Uh, I, I'm on uh, Neural's Bard and Chaotic Neutral, uh, and I'm very, very excited to be here. It's going to be a fun day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jane, I'm from Oxfordshire, you know me, and I'm very excited to play D&D with Amnesia. Uh, and I'm Mike, and this sounds a lot like how I play D&D anyway, which is no idea what I'm doing, where I am, or what powers I have. No memory of the last two or three hundred times you correct. played. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. So, we have, I have devised, special character sheets for you folks. Here they are. Here are your character Ooh. sheets. As you can see, they are scratch carded. I'm gonna win a hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> is that not how this is working? One of these yeah. has a grand prize of a hundred thousand pounds on it. No, it doesn't really. One in three chance. One in three chance. Um, we'll get to how these work in a moment. You scratch them off, right? You scratch them off. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it was that simple, Mike. Okay, right. Do you know how hard it is to bodge amnesia into fifth edition? <laughs> okay. I do. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, is everyone ready to kick off? Should yes, we begin? Please. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We begin face down uh, as you all begin to slowly regain consciousness. The sunlight invades your dull and groggy heads, and as the world swims back into painful focus, you hear the sound of Coring gulls, crashing waves, and you taste the grit of sand in your mouths. One by one, you struggle to a sitting position. The first to sit up is the character who will be played by Jane. Peering around, you see that you are on a strand of white beach. Turquoise waves are pounding the shore noisily just a few feet away. The sun blazes painfully overhead. The beach is littered with bits of wood and rope and two inert forms not far from you. Looking down, you see taut, muscular arms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> human arms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heavily scarred. Uh -oh. All right. And you're wearing a nondescript set of red garments. Okay. Are they yours? With a jolt of panic, you realize you have no idea. In fact, you don't realize or remember how you got here. You don't remember your name. Uh, nothing, in fact, before this very moment. Your attention is brought back to the beach as the other forms begin to stir and sit up. Next, to reach sitting position, <laughs> is the character played by Mike. You look down, you see the mottled grey fur and fluffy paunch of a tabaxi of advanced middle age. <laughs> Your joints ache profoundly. Oh, yes. Relatable. You, you are wearing... Uh, <laughs> A set of similar garments, but okay. yours are blue. You Got remember it. nothing. Okay. Um, and the third to wake up is the character who will be played by Sullivan. As you sit up, you flex your painful joints, and as you do so, a set of impressive wings unfurls from your shoulder blades. You are an Aracocra, a tall bird-like humanoid. You are dressed in nondescript, plain fabric, exactly like your companions, except your clothes are yellow. You remember nothing. As you stare at each other, hoping for answers, but receiving only blank stares, it dawns on all of you that you're in the same situation. You're going to have to figure out what the hell is going on together, or die trying. But perhaps start with what you're going to call each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, what's an appropriate name for a tabaxi? Like tid Tiddles, or, <laughs> you know. What's the cat name? I'll put Tiddles on the maybe pile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'm wearing red. Can I be red? Yeah. I'm wearing mm. red. Okay. But you're, wearing, you're, you're also wearing red. I'm, I'm wearing blue. Blue. Well, there you go. Okay. I'm red. Red and you Tiddles. You just refer to each other by... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think Tiddles is a fine name. It is a fine Tiddles. name. Maybe, and we don't know this, in my culture, that's the name of, uh, that is given the highest respect, perhaps. So Tiddles it shall be. Could be. Red, Tiddles. I'll go for Man Bird. Man Bird. Uh, I've no, no, no. <laughs> It's either that or Birdman. Yeah. <laughs> you tossed the coin. Uh, red, Tiddles, and Man Bird, I'm now going to hand you 
your character sheets and I'll explain exactly how this is going to work because I've made a few rules tweaks yeah. to make this wild system function at all. <laughs> Barely function. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Let me pass these over. Whoosh. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, there's the bird man. Thank you very yeah. much. So you can tell yeah. who's is who's by there's the... There's me. Okay, yep. I can read the race yep. on here and that's it. That's the only thing I can read. All the Everything stats, else is coming up. Yep. Are sc are scratchies. Mm -hmm. And and all of this area Name, is all scratchy. Armor class, health. Yeah. I've given you your character sheets, and having done that, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. Red. Yes. You feel a faint thrill humming through you. You know it to be a connection to the arcane weave that binds the world. Birdman. <laughs> or was it man bird? Man, man, bird. man bird. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it all the time. <laughs> Manbird. Birdman was my father's name. <laughs> <laughs> Manbird, you feel a similar thrill, but also something more. You know it instinctively to be the favour of some unseen presence. Tiddles, you feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nihilist. <laughs> okay, a little bit of rules housekeeping. Right. So okay. here's the basics of how this will work. When you make a check, any kind of check, you scratch off the relevant bit of your sheet to find out what bonus you are applying. Nice. Got it. If any, uh, you each have latent abilities, though gods alone know what they are. They are in the sort of large rectangular bit, square bit. You can mm -hmm. see a bunch of mm -hmm. different abilities, spells, etc., all scratch carded out. There we go. Uh, the only way to find out what is behind those is by committing to performing it. You can do this at any, at any point, <laughs> scratch it off at random, okay. but it will happen. Few rules edits uh, in acknowledgement of the fact that you're coming to these characters completely blank. Um, spell slots, forget them. Mm. Everything goes out of a third level spell slot and there's no keeping count. All of your abilities can be cast the first time you use them and once more after that and then never again. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this is to encourage you to keep scratching, keep uncovering keep digging away at your past. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so you've met each other, you've named each other. Yes. Yeah. I'll give you a few minutes to sort of get caught up. Uh, anyone any idea how we got here? I remember a thing. No, me neither. I'm very confused. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't really know what's going on. Are you, are we, are we part of like different Teams, mm, well, like a sports we're, team maybe. We, we're wearing differently coloured garb, so perhaps, perhaps, it, maybe, maybe, maybe we're enemies. Maybe we are. Maybe we're. <laughs> but what a wonderful opportunity to not be enemies anymore. Maybe. Yes. If we can't remember, then we could be friends. That'd be pretty cool. We have truly left the past behind us. But if we were great friends before, maybe we're less good friends now. It's a oh. real minefield. Oh dear. Um, Tiddles, as yes. you speak, um, you feel a faint sort of kind of thrumming uh, through through the ground, through the beach. And as you look down, you see the sand start to sort of subtly vibrate and move. Everybody make me a dexterity saving throw. Ah. Ah. Scratching. Yay. Scratching. Scratching. All what right. to be scratch with? I didn't bring a coin, so I'm going to use mm -hmm. a metal. This is where the whole conceit falls down because no one has cash anymore, <laughs> do they? <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm I gave my last pen pound knife. away. I got a pen, pen knife. knife. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are you not carrying a pen knife? <laughs> <laughs> In case of emergency scratch In case cards. of scratch cards. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I have a 14 in dexterity, mm -hmm. and that's a plus two modifier. Pretty okay. dexterous. Pretty dexterous. Pretty agile for an ancient elderly cat man. Mm -hmm. My dexterity is. I've got a plus three. There we go. Whoa. Is this the saving throw or the saving throw? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I've got a plus two. Cool. My saving throw. Okay. Fantastic. So I've got a plus five here and I've got a plus two here. Uh, I guess, well, what, which is the bonus to the saving throw? The bonus to the saving throw is the plus five here. Okay, cool. So, uh, well, roll a d20 and add five to it. Oh. And everyone else do the same. Ooh. Yes. Well, nice. I've got an 11. 21. Whoa. Oh. 16 plus two, 18. Okay. Red and Manbird, uh, instinctively, as you feel the ground start to tremble, you edge away from the source of the vibration. Uh, just enough, Tiddles, you're not so lucky. Um, My cat-like reflexes. Your cat-like <laughs> reflexes. <laughs> maybe, maybe when you were younger, those cat-like mm. reflexes would have kicked in, yes. but, but not now. Um, the sand erupts in a sort of vast explosion as a gigantic crab 
explodes out oh, of the sand. Oh, um, Tiddles, it sends <laughs> you flying. Um, oh, no. I'm going to say you're not prone, but then you okay. don't need to take no, no I land damage. on my feet. Just. No, you're no, not that's... prone. <laughs> <laughs> you land on your feet just and then fall on your back. Did you mean not prone? Yeah, yes, not yes. prone. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, you are sorry. not prone. Not, not prone. prone. Yeah. Right, got it. I land on my feet. I was like, I'm not prone. What? I land on my feet. No, I'm you do <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, atop this crab, there is a sahuagan, which um, oh. you may be familiar is a sort of fish-like yeah, yeah. humanoid. So we've um, got short-term amnesia, but I recognize a giant crab when I see one. Yeah. When I see one. You recognize a giant crab because... Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> crab knowledge is like locked away <laughs> yeah, exactly. in the long term. It just bursts forth to the... Yeah. Exactly. The, okay. the amnesia uh, refers exactly to your own pasts and yourselves. Okay. Your knowledge of the world remains... Trivia, general yeah. knowledge. Yeah, you've got all the trivia you ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find the nearest Good, I yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so you're not prone to those. Atop, yeah, there's a Sahurgan uh, atop this uh, giant crab. The sides of the crab are covered in, uh, like, I guess what, like netting or rigging, um, and sort of hanging from them, those nets, like there's sort of bits of fish and stuff, and the Sahurgan has a, uh, a big spear. Um, and it's going to plunge us all into initiative order mm -hmm. as it throws it. So everyone scratch, scratch off, off your initiative. Your initiative. Yes, yes, yes. Bonus. All right. Scratching. How's it scratching with a D6? Eh, yeah, not so bad. That's all right. Plus Ooh. two. Plus two initiative. <laughs> Plus three. Plus zero. <gasps> no, no. Rubbish oh, man bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man bird. <laughs> okay, so uh, remind, so man bird, how did you, what was your number, sorry? Uh, I've got a plus zero to my initiative. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. My roll is an 18. 18. Wow. wow. Nice. I don't even need that yeah. modifier. Uh, also 18. Okay, also 18. I got uh, 10 plus 2 is 12. 12. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, none of you beats the speedy reflexes of the Sahuagin, who is going to, I suppose, having burst out, uh, I feel like red, you probably visually mm. are the biggest threat here, having moved out the way most agilely. And because of my enormous muscles. And because of your enormous muscles. Uh, this Hooligan is going to hurl uh, a, a spear at you. Oh. So, no, this is good, because now we get to find out your armor class. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Now, armor class is here, <laughs> yes, isn't it? Yes. Yep. <laughs> I only know that because I can see the word armor peeking out ah. from behind my scratch. Okay, scratch, 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 scratch. Armor class is, everybody, 13. 13. 13. Not bad. Okay. Not bad for someone in red rags. Mm. <laughs> well, this is a great day of discovery because the Sahuigan rolled 16. Ah. Because that ah. means we get to find out your hit points. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning so much about myself. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Okay. Oh, a right. journey of self discovery. Let's find mm. out my max HP. Didn't even have to go to Thailand for it. <laughs> <laughs> no. My max HP. All right, come on. 51. There we go. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To the tune of eight points of damage, oh. um, this spear uh, sort of shoots past you. You manage to, you try and move out the way of it. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. like, as it moves towards you, it almost seems to kind of slow down in your perception. No. Oh. Uh, and your body moves in a way that you weren't prepared for it to, but feels very instinctive and very, very smooth and very calm. Uh, you get out of the way. So this thing just sort of, it just grazes your shoulder. Okay. Uh, this Sahuigan spear. Manbird and Red, you rolled the same so you can decide amongst yourself who goes next. Oh, you'd like to go? You've just been whacked. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to go. If that's Thank you, yeah, Manbird. Yeah. Um, well, I don't have a weapon apart from the, you know, arms. Um, but I do feel magical. So <laughs> can I try and do a magic? You can. Just sort of like... <laughs> Just hold your arms out and hope something comes yeah. out. Yeah. You hold your arms out, <laughs> scratch off any one of the boxes in your yeah. abilities. Okay. Oh, Which one are you going to choose? So I'm going to call on a random ability, yep. hope that it's magic. Mm, yep. Not like I nuclear arm again. Okay, <laughs> all right, here we go. Um, I'm going to go Although for... Although we all get home faster. Yeah, it's true. One. It is called... Oh, burning hands, yes please. Hey! All right, there's, there's an entire Terrific. like spell description on oh, here. Oh, that's so, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be a lot of scratchy bits on this table. Right. Uh, uh. Okay. Burning hands. As you hold your hands with thumbs touching and fingers spread, very specific, 
A thin sheet of flames shoot forth from your outstretched <laughs> fingertips. Each creature in a 15 foot cone must make a dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. Creature takes 3d6 fire damage on a failed save or okay. half as much damage on a successful one. And then a bunch of stuff about higher levels. Okay. Well, we're doing a third level, aren't we? We're doing third level oh, spells, yeah, so, aren't we? Yeah. All right, I'm going to need to scratch this whole thing. When you cast this spell using a second level, above, level yeah. spot slot or higher, the damage increases by 1d6 for each spell slot above first. So, so I'm doing 2d6s to add to that 3d6. Yep. So, so yeah. Five, okay. cool, roll 5d6. Right. borrow some d6. Wait, but what's my spell casting like stat? Okay, so your spell save DC yes. uh, is going to remain a behind the scenes secret. Okay. okay. So I will sort of tell you if this works. Oh, or, or okay. Not. You just want me to roll for yeah, it. Yeah, because I, I think if I told you, you could, all the people viewing could maybe infer your My class. Class. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We'd, all, we'd all know. <laughs> oh. All, Everyone except all of us would know. <laughs> yeah. um, right. yes, I it would, definitely know. It would be painfully obvious. Here we go. So I've rolled a 10. Okay. I rolled Ooh. a 10. Now you do the math. Now you do the math. Now for you, now once. I do the for math. once in your life. <laughs> oh yeah, the shoes on the other side. <laughs> oh man, I have to do. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I agree to this? Uh, Alright, so I hold my hands with thumbs touching and fingers spread. There like we go. A oh yeah. And do a little birdie, and then I've got hot hands. Wait to see if anything happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So with muscle memory, I just sort of. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. You you push out your hands. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Like you're at a Weezer concert. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and yeah, a huge sort of gout of billowing fire just shoots out, flamethrower like. Mm. Um, Tiddles and Manbird, you are quite taken aback by this. As are the Sahuagin and the crab. The so Huigan reacts very quickly and nimbly ducks down behind the crab. Uh, the crab, however, does not get out the mm -hmm. way. And how, so how much, how much damage uh, We're going to go for 4d6. 5d6. Is it 5? Yeah, it was... Uh, no, it's 3 plus... Oh yeah, three okay, alright, well let me add one more d6 then. There we go. Hup. That is a 2, 4, 8, 11. 11? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, the steam sort of pours out of the joint mm. of the crab uh, and it makes a kind of bubbling noise it that good. none mm. of you speak crab but mm. it smells great mm. Mm. and it makes a kind of sound that you infer to be agony <laughs> <laughs> um, crab scream cool yep brilliantly done okay next up is man, man bird. bird well i i could do a bit of magic and not as much but i'll do a magic um, right. <laughs> I'll scrape. You hope? Here we go. I'm going to scratch off this magic. What's this? Branding smile. What? Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> Here we Have go. Have you seen a crab smile? It's extremely unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, some at higher levels. Damn, my thumbs. Come on. I should always carry a pocket knife around. <laughs> there we are. Um, branding smile, the next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack, before this spell ends, the weapon gleams with an astral radiance as you strike. <gasps> the attack deals an extra 2d6 radiant damage to the target, which becomes visible if it is invisible. Uh, uh, it, 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 and the target sheds dim light in a five foot radius and ca it cannot become invisible until the spell ends. That's not going to apply to this crab. Nice. Um, and then at high levels, I can do things. Okay, so yeah, no problem. Do, do you have a weapon or are you going to have to grab some driftwood? Or yes, something? we'll see. So this spell is, is called Branding Smite. Oh, uh, Smite. In fact. Oh, it's, uh, yes. But the font is tiny. Yes. <laughs> it's a to make. Um, okay, so it requires a weapon. I'm going to give you an opportunity to find one. <laughs> you feel welling within you the ability to infuse any object with sort of magical damage dealing powers. Mm -hmm. What object will you choose? Um, it, it, should I do a perception check? Yeah, go on then. That's a, a good idea. See what I can yep. find. Um, right, so that's 17. I should have 17 done this. plus. Plus. We're about to find out. Let's have a little look. Plus five. Oh, wow. I'm Hello. so perceptive. You are perceptive. <laughs> yeah. What, what's this right under your foot? A cudgel shaped piece of driftwood. Oh, brilliant. It looks to have uh, come off a ship and recently too. It's not too waterlogged, it's still got some nice splintery edges. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll call that a uh, we'll call that a three d eight damage plus two um, d six radiant damage. 
Uh, yeah, so who, what are you attacking? Crab or are you going for the hidden so who again? Uh, we'll go for the, we'll go for the crab. Cool. We'll All right. The crab. Yeah. Um, so I'll roll to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's an eight. Do I plus anything to that? That's the question. Um, strength. Yeah, it would be yeah, melee attack. So yeah, you'd you'd plus your strength. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Please be something How good. How strong? How strong are we? Ish. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> a so plus two. Plus two, yeah. for a total sorry. of ten. ten. I'm devastated to say because it sounds so cool, but this crab is so heavily armoured. Uh, as you pick up this, you pick up this wooden, sort of cudgelly piece of driftwood, uh, and red and tittles. You see it just sort of explode with a holy light that <laughs> makes you feel good, guilty. Uh. Maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, and manbird, as you just. You swing it into the side of the crab. Um, unfortunately, it hits its rock hard carapace and just <laughs> bursts into splinters. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> but I feel less guilty now, so. That's <laughs> yeah. uh, Tiddles, you're up. All right. Well, I, yep. I feel like I need to stand up. And I do it in that very old geriatric way where I'm like, oh. Yeah, you make oh. a noise and your knees make a noise. Oh, yeah, clicking and yeah. popping and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Uh, and, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm back up on my feet. Um, uh, I've, I, everyone else is doing magic. Can I just do some magic, please? Yeah. I'm going to go for this one. This one here. The big old scratchy scratchy. Here it comes. Uh, <laughs> well, let me tell you. What I've, you got? Deve I've developed the talent for picking out lies. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I make a wisdom insight check to determine whether a creature is lying, uh, treat a roll of seven or lower on the d20 as an eight. <laughs> we will. Sure. So yeah, I'd like to check if this uh, crab is lying. Good idea. <laughs> to me. Good idea. Is it really in agony? We'll make a wisdom insight find out. check. <laughs> this, okay. is, this seems useless, but we are going to find out your uh, wisdom insight. Uh, yeah. I've rolled a 17 and let's okay. find out what my wisdom is. We're learning all about tiddles as we go. Uh, my wisdom is a plus two. So that's 19. Wow. Okay. So, and are you casting it at the Sahuigan or the crab? Uh, the crab. Yeah. Um, this is the crab, crab lying to me. This crab is an honest fellow. <laughs> um, as crabs go, there's there's no there's no deceit. There's no artifice here. Yeah. You pass on to your companions that this crab this has is an honest crab. This isn't, <laughs> you say those exact words. Oh, great. Anyway. That makes you feel better about this. Anyway, At least I stood up as well. It's the crab's turn, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and it is honestly going to smash me with its big pincers, probably. Well, yeah, I tell you what, this this crab senses that some, something is trying to probe its crab mind. And <laughs> this crab is unusually protective of that. So being the most recent thing, um, yeah, I think it's going to it's going to have a pop at you, Tiddles. Oh, oh no! What's your armor class, Tiddles? Uh, I guess we're about to find out, aren't mm -hmm. we? Um, it is twelve. It's a twelve. A twelve. Yeah. I so, don't like these faces. Is that yeah. A nat twenty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's only a fourteen. So oh, okay. yeah, if you were built a bit more robust, you could have you could have deflected Maybe that. Maybe in my youth. Maybe okay. In my youth. Um, the crab rushes towards you um, with both its claws ready to slam down, and it is just going <laughs> to like slam them both down like that. Um, okay, shall like we? Hammering me into the sand. Yeah, basically. Let's roll this properly. Wait, but I, do I do a deck saving throw? Why would you? I don't know. Go on then. <laughs> Go on then. This is how. This is Mike's D and D tactic. He asks something he doesn't know. It's not in the rules, but he asks it, and it just sort of. It just hits my heart. He's so earnest. How can I refuse? Yeah. Go on then. What did you get? Uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Right. The first claw smashes down on you. Okay. Who can do? We don't know who can do. Let me see your HP. All right. Okay, you can see my max HP. <laughs> 35. Oh. 35. Oh. 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 Your HP is now two. Two? Oh. Yeah. Uh, the crab goes <laughs> like that, burying <laughs> tiddles sort of in the sand. 
Um, We've all seen them by the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> smashed flat cat. Oh no! A smashed flat, smashed flat, crunched up bone heap. I'm afraid. You can't die with amnesia. Wow! I had <laughs> at least he was honest. <laughs> Damn, All you've done is be knocked prone. Find out that a crab is honest and now they're nearly dead. <laughs> that's all that's happened to you the whole game. Sensing opportunity, uh, this Sahuigan is going to pop back up, for it is the Sahuigan's turn, he's going to pop back up from behind the crab and um, uh, produce a, a vicious looking dagger and... Um, and finish the job. <laughs> yeah, and just sort of throw it to try and finish the job. Um, however, red. Yeah. As a reaction, yeah. you catch that dagger Out in of the air. air. You now have a dagger. <laughs> Great. And it's your turn. And I've got a dagger. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the Sahuagin is like back on back yeah. on top of the crab. Uh-huh. Okay. How close is the crab? It's close. Close. <laughs> the crab is right on me. This crab moves fast. Okay. So it's sort of scuttled up to smash Tiddles. Mm -hmm. uh, and now having made that attack, it's sort of like scuttling mm. back, kind of ranging around you, trying to keep you guessing. Okay. It's not static. Okay. Well, given the little I know about myself, mm -hmm. I vault onto the back of the giant crab yep. and attempt to stab the Sahuagin in the throat. Let's make this a dex based attack. Love that. Uh, yeah, because this all feels very finesse to me. Okay. So yeah. All roll, right. Roll me that. You're all right, going for let's... the Sahuigan, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Cool. All right. I'm, I'm going to leave the honest crab out of this. <laughs> there we go. And it, that is a 12 plus 3. 15. Yeah, it hits. Uh, it hits. Yeah. We've got a dagger, so what are we calling that? Uh, let's call it, let's call it 1d8. Okay. All right. Dagger goes one. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> dagger why? Yeah, um, the you you stick this thing in the Sahuagin, uh, and it just sort of twists in all at the last minute in okay. a way that yeah. just like it sort of goes Nicks in it. a bit. Yeah, Sahuagin goes. <laughs> 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 um, I tell you what though, seeing as this is the first damage. Uh, that the Zahuagin has taken. I'm going to make a constitution saving throw for it. Two. Okay. This Zahuagin hates pain so much. Uh, having received this Miris Nick, um, I suppose probably more tellingly having seen you flip up effortlessly onto the back of the crab, which you did do. Well, I did. Um, the Zahuagin kind of yanks on a rein and uh, sort of steers the big honest crab towards the sea. Uh, and it kind of, kind of goes away. The Sahuagin sort of submerges behind it. <laughs> it fist. And yeah, thought better of this fight. Okay. Chose to flee. Yeah. Um, and thank the providence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you're out, you are now out of combat. Oh. I shake my fist at the ocean. My muscular arm in the yeah. direction of the Sahuagin. <laughs> The ocean I is. I shake my fist and my wrist sort of snaps off and dangles <laughs> limply. <laughs> the ocean is impassive. Okay. Well, here you are. <laughs> can I have a long rest? <laughs> can, we, can we pick this up again tomorrow? <laughs> long rest, please. Absolutely not. Oh, no. Um, I would like to recover the spear that the uh, Sahuagin threw initially. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's just sticking out the sand with some of your blood on it. Okay, yeah. so now we've got a spear and a dagger and a cudgel and a smash flat cat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I think I said the cudgel shattered. Oh, yes, you did. So I wouldn't have said if I All thought right. you were going to very cleverly I... take stock of what you had, but oh. sorry. Well, I passed the spear to Man Bird. Is that cool? Uh, maybe Not you tiddles. can use this. I, I, well, <laughs> uh, I we couldn't even hold it to be We honest, peeled tiddles up off the beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to carry, yeah. I suppose we'll have to carry you, won't we? <laughs> Probably, at two hit points. <laughs> <laughs> that was a 30, a 33, 33 hit point, point yeah. crab damage. <laughs> 33 points of crab damage. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, Red, as you, uh, as you hand over, is it the spear you were giving to Yes, Amber? I've kept the dagger. Yeah. As you pass the spear over, there's just something about the way that it's held in your hand a memory swims briefly into focus. And the memory is thus. You see 
a large stone square where rows of pupils, also holding spears, um, drill swipes and stabs mm. uh, and kicks in perfect unison. Little bursts of flame springing from their fists and spear tips as they do so. Mm. You try to cling to it, but the memory <laughs> evaporates as quickly as it. Do I have a sense that I, uh, am I teaching them or am I among them? What's my POV? Oh, it's oh, it's all uh, oh, oh. hard to tell. Hard to tell. tell. Damn this! Damn this amnesia. Damn this amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, uh, so keep your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the opportunity to take take a bit more of, of a look around um, the island that you're on. I suppose you can't tell very much from from where you are. You what you can see is the beach. Um, you can see like a, a, a fair distance away from you. The beach sort of turns into forest, and then further up you can sort of make out uh, like some rocks. Looks like things get a, a bit more sort of cliffy and mountainy over there. It's all a bit vague from where you are, to be honest. Um, I suppose your first priority might be to find shelter. Yes, I agree with that. Like say weekly. Mm -hmm. from, Maybe do something about Tiddles' shattered body. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One well. of you might be able to heal him. Yeah, but we never know. You might accidentally cast, like, I don't know, hideous laughter or something. There are a lot more damaging spells than healing spells. So the odds yeah, are not exactly. good. Yeah. We're going to accidentally <laughs> uncover a healing not. spell. Seems unlikely. We could try. <laughs> no, you I don't think I want try. to try. Can always try. I don't want to be. Uh, we could, I could test it out on a nearby medicine. palm tree. Yeah. And then. Oh, all oh, right, okay, yeah, let's, yeah. let's keep scratching. Yeah, should, we, um, should we both test yeah, this yeah, spell yeah. out? Each? Before we hit you with anything we don't know what it is, yeah. Tiddles. Okay, but bear in mind you can then only use it once afterwards. So. Well, we gotta, we got to try something, Tiddles. You're, on, true. You, you're in a bad way. Yeah, I'm close to death. This poor cat. Poor cat man. Okay, right. So we find a couple of nearby palm trees further up the beach. Yeah. And we have a little chat about what we're going to do with Tiddles. And yeah. I don't know. I don't feel. Do you feel like a healer? I don't. I don't think birds often are. But um, <laughs> I mean, really? we can only try. I've, 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 we can give it a go. Yeah. Okay. We'll heal this palm tree. We will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I size up the palm tree. Yeah. I suppose I could do one as well. I might as well scratch some things. You might off, be able to heal yourself. Yeah. Because otherwise, you know, yeah. I might just die and never have known. We're each going to pick a spell. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Go for it. And do it on a palm tree. I love it. <laughs> This All, right. All right. I'm going for this one. This is like Christmas. Everyone's up oh, unwrapping their yeah. presents. Uh, <laughs> stunning strike. Are you a healing spell? <laughs> Fine steed. Are no. you a healing spell? <laughs> um, stunning strike. When you hit with a melee weapon attack, you can spend one key point to make the target stunned until the end of your next turn. Well, that's not a healing spell, is it? It's mm. not a healing but spell, no. I think I'm a fighter. If I. Interesting. A, a, the, the memory starts to connect with uh, something else. And I'm thinking about key and key points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes me think about fighters, so okay. maybe. Anyway. So remind I, me what it does, it's a stunning yeah, strike. Yeah, yeah, I hit the palm tree with uh, <laughs> my dagger. Sure. Stunningly. Stunningly. Yeah. And uh, I, oh no, it's when I make hit with a melee weapon attack. So first of all, I have to try and hit the palm tree with a dagger. We can say it hits. Okay. <laughs> you can spend one key point to make the target stunned. We're not, I, doing, I, I choose, uh, we're not doing key points. We're not doing key points. I put it in there so that everyone has like a clue as to sort okay. of classes, right. etc. Mm. But like we consider them like spell slots. We're not okay. counting them. I stab the palm tree and go, no. That was not a healing yeah. spell. It's cool though. It is. There's cool. a kind of acro acrobatic lunge, mm. and you land just behind the palm tree, looking away from it, mm. and then it kind of like slides off its oh, axis, yeah. like whoa, Stoof, like that to the ground. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you Man bird. It out first. <laughs> uh, I've done fine steed. Mm. Ah. <laughs> you summon a spirit that assumes the form of an unusually intelligent, strong, and loyal steed, creating a long-lasting bond with it. Appearing in an un unoccupied space within range, the steed takes on the form that you choose. A war horse, a pony, a camel, an elk, or a mastiff. I'll go for a pony. A pony? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't have to carry my shattered corpse around. Yeah, we can put you on the fine yeah, steed. So actually, that's all you, look, you look at this tree and you concentrate and you go, Ah, like that, and, and uh, a spectral pony 
bursts <laughs> up between your thighs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you are now stood on an, un, well, astride, an unusually intelligent <laughs> pony. <laughs> it looks at you intelligently. <laughs> But is it honest? I could cast my ear <laughs> again. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you got? I got eye for detail. Oh. I can use a bonus action to make a perception check to spot a hidden creature or object, or to make an investigation check to, in, to uncover or decipher clues. You point out to your cohorts mm. that there is a, pony. a, a, little, <laughs> a little baby seagull hiding in the top of this, this palm tree. Right. Well, there it is. It's very small. Creature. Not everyone oh, would right. notice it. Okay. You do have an eye for detail. And I'll tell you what, you also, while they're doing their cool stuff, <laughs> <laughs> you take you take a look around and um, uh, you survey the landscape one more time. Mm -hmm. You get a slightly more concrete sense of where you are. Okay. This island is uh, a long oval shape, um, which you ascertain by um, like figuring out the sound of, of surf hitting reefs and uh, like directions of shadows and, and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You're quite good at this sort of geography stuff. Um, it's also wedge shaped. You don't know why, but you just remember that that's typically how, how islands in seas like this tend to form. You're a geographer. Um, Probably, yeah. So imagine a big sort of, well, imagine a big wedge yeah. uh, of which you are on the shallow side. Uh. The island is maybe five miles long, you would guess, holding up your little shattered bloody cap. Poor thumb. Yeah, little toe beans. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you look around as well. There's no land on the horizon on any side. Um, what you can spot though, are some very ominous and threatening storm clouds. Oh. And uh, oh. I'm gonna say that all of this spell slinging, uh, the sun is now moving behind those clouds. Uh -oh. It's getting a little darker. Wind's well, coming up. I'd like to share that information immediately, just in case that baby seagull comes down and finishes me off. <laughs> so. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'd okay. like to let them know about the layout of the island and uh -huh. also uh, draw attention to the, the gathering clouds. Shelter would probably be a good idea around, around now. Is it a rocky sort of island? Do we see caves, cliffs? The part that you're on, no. Uh, the, you're in a very exposed area right now. Probably a decent hike away is that sort of forested part. Mm. There probably are caves, cliffs, but mm. they're on the steeper, steeper side of this, mm. this island. Are there any buildings or any sort of sign of... Oh. Any wisps of smoke? <laughs> Anything around? Good idea. Let's call this an investigation. Oh, a new thing. A new thing. Ah, thank God I'm doing it. It's plus zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a 12. A 12. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Um, not least, because as you survey, you're looking for buildings, you're looking for sort of familiar structures. Um, almost by muscle memory, uh, your wings unfurl and just sort of beat once and just propel you a little way up in the air. Not very far, but like, a you know, maybe sort of 30 feet, kind of up in the air. It's kind of like one big floaty jump. And then you sort of drift down. Oh yeah, wings. Um, while you were up there, you saw some uh, stone structures very far off in the distance, right at the end of the island um, that look like they are conceivably buildings, no wispy smoke. Um, I can see some buildings over there. Should, should we, do, do you want to go over to the buildings? Yeah, let's make that, make our way over there on, on your fine steed. Yes. Or, or with... Sli yeah, sling me over the back of the pony and we'll get moving. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to uh, codify your wounds, um, okay. if that's Ooh. all right, Tiddles. <laughs> sure. Let's say, a bro you obviously, obviously it's pretty bad. Broken leg, uh, let's say a few smashed ribs. You can't really move by yourself upright unaided. Okay. I'm gonna say that feels fair. And um, yeah, your everything else is sort of sprained or, or badly bruised. 
There may be internal bleeding, but it's not made itself known yet. Yeah. Well, nothing a good night's sleep wouldn't sort out. <laughs> but before yeah. we set off, <laughs> can I do like a med? Can I see if I've got any um, like medicine skills? Yes. You don't just have to heal with me- magic. No. Yeah, of course. You don't. So let's. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna scratch what? my medicine. <laughs> yeah. Box here and no. Unfortunately, that's a negatory on medicine. So. You could still try it. I can still try. You uh, can try yeah. Um, what about nature? Like a naturey looking around for some I don't herbal know. sort of remedies. Yeah. Roll it for me, Tiddles. Making a. All right, I'm going to do that as well. Let's go na- nature, medicine what, and nature. Everyone's, everyone who wants oh, to help Tiddles potentially. I do have a plus one in nature. So. But that's a, I've got, yeah, Ooh, I've got a plus I've, three in nature. I've got a plus five in medicine. Oh, hey. hell yeah. Oh, lovely. Sweet. Okay, everyone right. roll it for me then. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to heal this cat. <laughs> oh, I got it's a, it's 11 a... overall. Oh, I got, well, I got a three <laughs> on my medicine roll. Seven plus five, so 12. Okay. Um, let's say, Red, you sort of scoop up some handfuls of seaweed. Yeah. This could be a poultice. Is this anything? Uh, you sort of press it uselessly but not harmfully into Tiddles' wounds. Just rubbing some salty, salty yeah. seaweed into the <laughs> they wound. They get salty, which hurts, yeah. Yeah. but it's cleansing. Right. Um, Manbird, however, um, some of these bits of driftwood that are, that are lying about, you spot one that's sort of long and thin and sturdy, and um, there's like something in you, something uh, you just you just feel like you have experience in in field medicine or like or at some point someone's told you something to do with this and you pick it up um, and you tear off a strip of your yellow um, tabard and you bind it to Tiddles' uh, shattered leg. Shattered leg. Mm-hmm. Um, Tiddles, you can now walk unaided right. slowly and I'll say that heals you to the tune of 1d6 which you can roll if you like. All right. Four. Okay. So now on six hit points. Six yes. hit points. Sitting very high pretty. on the pony. Cool. <laughs> so, we're, are we all on the steed? Will, will it sit three? I could always fly. It's an unusually intelligent mm. pony. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'll, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll sit atop the pony. Yeah. With your permission. Oh yes, absolutely. Mm. And uh, pony, are you all right with us all being on you? Yeah, pony. The pony um, looks at you and its eyebrow just raises slightly. Uh, it's a kind of eyebrow raise that implies knowing laughter. <laughs> As if to say, man, but what kind of spectral steed would I be if I didn't heed the commands of my summoner? Hop aboard, you two. That's sort of what it seems to say. I wonder if this pony knows you. Yeah. Like if you've summoned it before. We have a connection. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Fantastic. Great. On we go. Right. Clippy cloppy. Cool. So where exactly are we headed? What is the target? Um, Broadly towards the, the, the buildings, buildings, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Even they're a long way away. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you you leave the beach and as uh, as your horse um, sort of clip clops up the sand, kicking up cool little cinematic bits of sand. Uh, thunder starts to sort of ominously rumble um, behind you. The, the sky is a uh, an intimidating sort of bruised purple colour. Mm. A nasty storm is is rolling in for sure, and the wind is picking up. Um, it starts to rain as you enter the kind of foresty, the sort of forested kind of area. Remember, the island is long and thin, and the middle part is all covered in in this kind of brush. So. This unusually intelligent horse has no problem knowing where to go, and Tiddles, you have a sense of which way is north. Um, and yeah, you 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 clip clock clip clop along uh, very happily. You've all done so well. So I'm going to say, as you go about this journey, a few memories stir. Mm. Let's say um, Tiddles, your wounds are hurting you a great deal. It reminds you of times before when you have been in great pain. <laughs> witnessed great pain. I see, okay. Uh, and swimming into focus, a sobbing tiefling youth stands before you in Whoa. court. He is only a child, 
but the Duke's laws are very clear about the penalty for poaching on royal land. With a grimace, you swing the gavel. Manbird. Judge. Manbird. Um, the feel of wind under your wings reminds you of the year that you first learned to fly when you were very, very little. You remember a dusty alleyway, a gang of young Aarakocra and humans. You spent all afternoon trying to trap a feral cat under a box with no luck. A lanky Aarakocra joins you. You recognize him as a brother of yours. This should do it, he says, lifting his stained shirt to reveal a fresh whole trout. Lifted it from the stall. Kitty won't be able to resist. And the memory comes back in. Of focus. Okay. As you ride into this forested area, everybody make me a wisdom perception check. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, you can roll off. For these, you can roll off like you can scratch off the skill, and you can Ooh. also scratch off the, mm, mm, mm. the, oh, the ability perceptive. which it derives from. I'm not very not? wise, mm. and I'm cool. not very perceptive. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, out. on the other hand, am. I've got plus eight in perception. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some percepting. And that's a nat <gasps> 20 as well. <laughs> yeah. 28. Which I think is the highest I've ever rolled in DVD. Yeah, yeah, I ever. think so. So, there you go. Yeah, all right. As you're galloping along, um, Tiddles, you are st distracted away from your memories by an almost imperceptible gargling. Not to me, gargling master sound. of perception. Not to you. <laughs> so perceptive. Your, your large tabaxi ears sort of Twitch. I'm quite what sensitive about those, but carry on. Sure. So, <laughs> your large but perfectly formed right. tabaxi ears. Uh, yeah, Twitch sort of responding to some sensitive sound. You can hear very nearby, somewhere like close in the forest, off to the, off to the left, mm -hmm. there's, gosh, the one, two, oh gosh, more, three, Maybe 10, 10 or 11, hard to tell. What did you roll, 28? 28, yeah. Exactly 10. <laughs> <laughs> exactly 10 forms moving through the brush. And what's this? They're dragging something. Something heavy, something that creaks. All right. Uh, you hear a unpleasant gargling sound and the occasional. Yeah, I share this information again immediately, just in case a, a gust of wind finishes me off. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yes, uh, ten forms, dragging something heavy to the left. Maybe they can help us. Maybe they're not necessarily foes. They could be friendly, they could be foes. Even with my <laughs> acute perceptive skills, I couldn't work that out from the gargling. Mm. Gargling? There was nothing that sounded like language, was there? 28. The gargling is the language. <gasps> okay. Sounds like a... Did it sound like the Sahuigan from earlier? It did not. It, it did, did not. not. It didn't sound a million miles away, mm. but it did not. Another seaborne creature or amphibious creature. Should we hide somewhere and watch and wait? I'm so good at perceiving things. If we hide and watch and wait. I might be able to perceive some more things. That seems wise. Yeah. I, I defer to your wisdom. Yeah. You've got much more of it. Uh, is there, a, is there a, uh, some area of sort of like foliage that we could hide in or a particular, you know? This whole place is dense foliage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, a comfy spot to. Yeah, so you. Uh, maybe a slightly elevated. Or, do you want to dismount or dismiss the pony? Oh. Hide the pony. Or stay on it. Hide the pony. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. You can only summon it once more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We might need it. But it lasts for ages, right? Yeah. Fine steeds. Is it? Uh, yeah, uh, creating a, a long lasting oh. bond with yeah. it. The pony gives you a, uh, a look to say like, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and sort of dressages its way behind a <laughs> pony shaped bush. <laughs> and perfectly. Yeah, per perfectly slots behind, <laughs> becomes stationary and peaceful. <laughs> um, this pony's the real hero of this story. <laughs> yeah, right. When I get killed, can I play as the pony? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, okay, yeah, you you know, Tiddles, that all of this scraping and gargling and stuff was, mm. was coming from off, like, in, 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 
this sort of direction. Mm -hmm. So what, what's what's the play here? Are you all gonna sort of creep up? Are you gonna... Are they coming in our direction? Does, uh, is the sound getting closer? I assume they're moving closer, yeah, and that we would have... They're moving closer. It doesn't sound like they're moving towards you, but they're right. close by. Well, then maybe we can stealth through the undergrowth and yeah. try and sneak a peek. Just yeah. take a look and see what they're see what they're dragging is what I'm most interested in. Love it. Everybody make me a stealth check. Mm. Good you are at this core D&D &D attribute. Mm, let's find out. Oh, that's stealth. zero. Whoa, I'm good at stealth as well. That's, What's happening? What the heck? I got three. It's pretty, it's pretty I got good. good at decent. I got plus eight in that as well. You got eight what stealth. What are you? I'm like a stealthy judge from what I did. <laughs> <laughs> the stealthy a stealthy judge perceptive cat. judge. <laughs> Cat. Um, that archetype. Yeah. I rolled an eight. There's no modifiers. Okay. Okay. So. okay. That's mine. <laughs> and I've got an eight also. I got an 18 plus eight is 26. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the three of you set off through the undergrowth. Um, Tiddles, you're obviously moving slowly because of your wounds. My age and my wounds. And, you know. But nevertheless, your body just sort of like folds itself <laughs> underneath every branch, <laughs> like kind of between every vine. Yeah, you sort of kind of flow, almost like <laughs> very slow moving water. <laughs> right, okay. Like magma, maybe. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Uh, kind of through the forest. Inexorably. Yeah, towards. silently. Um, and as you pop, two branches, you get a look at what was making this sound. It is a group of Kuatara, who you may remember, huh. or you may, you can see now, are sort of small fish people. Much more fish than people. Uh, each one is about yay high. Um, they are armed to the teeth with sort of jagged bits of metal and sort of coral and stuff. And they are, and each of them is, is pulling on a rope. Attached to the rope is a large sea chest. That's what you see. Um, Manbird and Red, you trip over oh, Tiddles no. when he stops and sort of clatter forward uh, oh. over him um, oh. into this clearing. Oh. I will roll for all the Kuatoa, who, to be fair, are distracted with a task, mm. a noisy task of dragging. What should we call this? Should we say, should we say they, over 12 and they detect you. 14, that is. Ah. Uh, yeah, the, the two Sahuagan uh, closest to the back turn around and spot you and go, wow, 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 wow. And sort of, Pull a little swords out, ah. a little, little daggery thing. So they don't <laughs> recognise us. <laughs> 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 oh, well, maybe. It's us. These could be your best <laughs> friends. <laughs> guys. guys. Good to see you guys. <laughs> You've got to help us. We've forgotten everything. All, now all of them are kind of like facing you with daggers, looking very confused and apprehensive. <laughs> Well, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm as confused as you are. They're gathering around the chest. I think they think that you want their chest. <gasps> oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 I think I got a plus two in charisma. Uh, what have we got? Oh yeah. I got a plus two. What have I got yeah, persuasion? I've got a plus two. Ooh. Oh, I'm very persuasive though. Oh. So that's a, a dirty 20 and 18 plus two. Fantastic. Plus eight in persuasion. Ah, oh, it's a 23. Four. Uh, 14. I can tell you that Friends. whatever angle you're going for here yes. is going to work. Okay. What? What is the angle? You take the lead since you um, rolled so high. I think these, uh, I think these um, creatures would like an offering huh. of some sort. Huh. What do you got? So, I don't know. I haven't checked my pockets. <laughs> now there's a... And I can't remember what might be in my pockets or might not be in my pockets. So, 
<laughs> I'm going to plunge my hand well into one played. of the pockets of my blue robes mm. and see what comes out. You plunge your hands into the pockets of your blue robe. There is nothing in the pockets, but you feel a little lump in... This in, is my hip bone. Yeah, it's your hip bone. Poking out. <laughs> feel like something kind of small and hard sort of around here where your painful ribs are. Okay. And exploring with your big fluffy tabaxi paws, um, there's something in the lining and you sort of unstitch it, mm -hmm. pull it out. It's a signet ring. <gasps> um, it's beautiful. Yep. And it's made of gold. Right. Seems like you maybe tried to hide it in there. Right. It's successful. You did hide it in there yeah, successfully. It's presumably very important to me, but past me. Yeah, sure. Now, who knows? Sure. I'm going to offer the signet ring to these people. I'm going to kneel down as well, as best I can with my terrible... Oh, they like that. Yeah, and I'm going to offer them the signet yeah. ring. Uh, one of the Kuatawa, the biggest, burliest ones, sort yeah. of steps forward and conducts the negotiation, sort of using a dagger to illustrate, yeah. pointing to the chest, like... Mm. No, just a gift. Just a gift. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they don't seem familiar with this concept of gift. All oh, right, well, they're going to love it. <laughs> We've blown their minds. Yeah. <laughs> they don't get it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we'll take the prefer. test if you want. <laughs> 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 sounds like I sounds like I knew it too too easy, but I've just head cannoned these Kuatoa. So, yeah, I yeah, they're so clear in my mind, <laughs> and, and like yeah, they do trade. They don't do presents. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they yeah they take the they take the ring from you. Okay. It's clearly of immense value. Whereas this big heavy box could be a yeah, big heavy box. Big load of wood. Yeah. They sort of they all gather around and look at it and gratefully drop their ropes. Wow. All right, they've, like that. They've taken their clothes off. <laughs> ropes. ropes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time thing. to party. <laughs> We've done the trade. It's time. To I mean, I know I'm charismatic, <laughs> but all the co <laughs> down. I was going to say down tools, but yeah. all the Kuata take all their clothes off. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh, so liberating. So good. It is. Yeah, their working day is done. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and the, yeah, they sort of wander off, all looking at their lovely, precious, precious, precious new possession. Uh, yeah, leaving with a bunch of ropes attached, this sort of big, slightly waterlogged sea chest. Well, should we try and crack this thing open? Yeah. I don't think I'm capable. I think things, bits of me would crack before it all right. cracked. Uh, can I prize so. it open with a, d a dagger? Let's find out. Okay, I'm going to try and prize this um, waterlogged sea chest, which mm -hmm. is probably not... I mean, is it damaged? Is it old? Looks old. What am old. I going to need? Okay, okay. Doesn't look um, damaged particularly. What's a, a, a prizing thing? A dexterity, I guess? Yeah, I think this all is right. finesse, yeah. Okay, all right. Attack this sea chest. I attack the sea chest, and I hit it for... Um, with a roll of 16. Mm-mm. Oh! Ooh. The dagger doesn't break okay. as you try and prize this. Okay, the dagger's okay, it it's... but it's, yeah, this thing is well made. It's fine. Luxuriant. Hmm. Is there a lock on it? Yes. Can I, like, pop one of my little a tabaxi padlock. claws out and stick them in the lock and try and see if I can get it picked? Yeah, I'd love it if you did. All right. Is that a... What is that? Maybe sleight, sleight of hand. Yeah, sleight of hand feels, feels like right a sleight to me. Of yeah. Handy sort of thing. Ooh, I've got plus five in that. It definitely feels like a sleight of hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just the memory of. <laughs> it's coming back to me now. That's probably a sleight yeah, of hand. Yeah, yeah, coming back yeah. to me now. <laughs> that is a 16 plus five is a 21. Yeah, okay. Um, some of the things that you all have been doing feel like things that you've done a, a thousand times before. Mm. Like they kind of. 
reverberate around your mind, like they're kind of bouncing off some, like an, like an echo location in your head is like, I've done this before. This isn't one of those times. As you pick this lock to thieve whatever's in this um, chest, you, you just have like a sort of odd tingle of like, guilt? Nothing major, but just no. like, this isn't the kind of thing you do. No. But this brass lock <laughs> springs open uh, and the chest sort of groans and let, lets go a little water mm-hmm. as, it's, uh, as it sort of expands and stretches. I assume you're opening it. Yes. Cool. Um, not a mimic or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow! Yeah, six hit points. Six hit points. Six hit points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You open it up. Inside, um, everything's pretty wet, unfortunately. Um, there are maps. Quite a lot of maps. Mm. Um, you spread them out. The light is failing. It's getting a bit dark to see. Mm. I guess some of you probably have dark vision. Uh, Who knows? I'm going maybe. to guess you two have dark vision. Cool. And, uh, maybe. And, All right. And tiddles. Mm. Um, so you can see, you can both see quite clearly that these are just yeah maps of land masses and ocean. Um, Could this have been on the ship that was presumably wrecked? On the beach. That we were on, maybe. That we were on. Mm. Uh, Tiddles, as you sort through, you find a map which, as you stare at it, you remember your ridiculous perception rolls from earlier. This is a map of this island. Huh. This island is called Reefstrop. Ah. So there is a little, for that is written on it. Okay. Mm. Are there any, are there any other markings on it? You know, is it, you know, is there like little crosses and little, you know, are the buildings marked on it? Uh, yes, the buildings are marked on it. It doesn't say what they are. They're just sort of little uh, kind of like triangular markings kind of up, up near there, but they clearly denote some sort of, mm-hmm. you know, um, activity up there. And uh, there's a note scribbled in the margins um, that just says smugglers, uh, and that's underlined a few times. Mm. And this chart is very old. That's the other thing you can tell. As you sort sort through these papers, you also find a ruined captain's log. Who would like to read it? Uh, I can read it. I mean, I, you know, if I'm a judge, I'm sure I'm used to reading things and papers and Ooh. stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh wow. Um, yes. Actual props. We, go. we got it. Actual props. <laughs> it says, this may be the final entry of Captain Wind Slot. <laughs> Wind Mind Slot? <laughs> this, uh, this handwriting. Something Slot of his Royal Duke's prisoner transport, ship Puritanica. Oh. Shortly before, uh, eight, eight bells. bells in the first watch, the ship was. Uh, something at. Hull? Hold amidships off the southern shore of Reef's Drop Island. This is brilliant. All I did was choose a weird font, yeah. and now they're very authentically trying Confused. to. It's, yeah. all, it's all yeah. wet and waterlogged. Yeah, all wet and waterlogged. This yeah. is genius. Yeah. Yeah. Is Cause is. unknown. <laughs> the reefs in this parallel are largely uncharted, and its wildlife unknown. They're already half sunk. Detainees agitated. I hear they're clamouring from below decks. I expect all four dozen will perish. Evacuating them all would be impossible, and besides, I cannot risk the escape of a blue tier criminal. One of us maybe is a blue tier criminal. Maybe that's. I'm looking at my blue mm-hmm. clothing. Hmm. Uh, oh, right. Uh, I feel sorry to have, fa- to have failed in my mission to bring these reprobates to Kir Sabal to stand trial, but perhaps nature is exacting its own kind of justice. To whomsoever may find this, I'm taking my officers. The only boat to restrop where I shall await rescue. P.S. I've taken with me the Nemo sign, still locked. Drowning without the memories of their wicked lives is a kindness I have chosen to grant the prisoners, though I scarcely think they deserve it. Whoa. Oh, wicked wow. lives. Mem- that are memories. We're all very bad people, it seems. But they've got our memories. Yeah. Yep. Well, I want them back. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I life. want them back. <laughs> yeah, I'm maybe sure I'm a real you. jerk. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's better if I don't know. <laughs> well, let's find out. Okay, come back for part two of D&D and everyone has amnesia. 
uh, where we will be finding out if these three possibly criminals can find out more about their past. Thank you very much, Mike and Jane from Oxventure. Sullivan, where can people find your work? Oh, go to No Rolls Bard or indeed Chaotic Neutral is a brand new role playing game channel. And No Rolls Bard to see me playing silly board games. Thank you very much. Come back for part two. All right, let's get into it. Good luck, have fun, everyone. Total party. Total party. You died. <laughs> you got a total party, mate! Yeah. Yeah. Trick shot. <laughs> you want to lose your memory? Why? I've seen some bad things. <laughs> Liliana is our mortal enemy. She She's tried to kill, to kill us a hundred times. I need your help. 